Good day everyone. Uh, we're going to create a tutorial today by uh, adding and adjusting filter on photos. So it's just a simple tutorial and everyone will learn on it and it is very very useful for for uh, editing images to make it more vibrant and nice. So let's go. Hi guys, in this part, uh, we are not going to create a document, we're just going to drag something on the Adobe Photoshop. Note that if you have an admin type Adobe Photoshop, you cannot drag and drop an image on it. But if you have uh, a default Adobe Photoshop, or not not an uh, not an admin type Adobe Photoshop. You can drag and drop on it, and you can use it uh, whatever you want to do on it. So there it is, guys. We uh, we drop some image on the Adobe Photoshop, and we sure that it is an RGB type and not an CMYK type. Note that if it if the image is an RGB type. You can use the exposure and vibrance too but i mean you can use the exposure and vibrance filter on the image but if you use and cmyk type image you cannot use the exposure and vibrance filter or it will be disabled there it is i added the exposure filter on the image you'll see that the image is now a little bit vibrant and the color is good the brightness is good you just uh, adjust everything guys whatever you want to adjust on the image and you'll see the preview it is uh, very nice and uh, vibrant yes there it is i just used exposure vibrance so now we're going to add the brightness and contrast filter on the picture there you go i just adjust everything the contrast and the brightness uh, it's up to you guys uh, how many are you going to add on the brightness and the contrast everything every filter it's up to you how many are you going to add on it or how many are you going to uh, deduct on it Now I'm going to uh, compare the, uh, uh, the photo that is not uh, filtered by uh, Adobe Photoshop tools and uh, compare it to the Adobe Photoshop, uh, I mean compare it to the photo that is filtered by Adobe Photoshop tools so you'll see that the the, the 
picture that is uh, not yet uh, filtered by photos compared to the filtered photos it's a lot of difference in it so if so there you go if you want to save the image or if you want to save something just click file and then save and select the JPEG uh, by selecting the options on the type and uh, select the location and then rename it as you want and It's finished already so there it is the uh, tutorial for uh, adding and adjusting a filter in photos is done and I hope you uh, learned something on this guys so you can use it on your photos if you want to adjust something or make the photos a little bit vibrant comparing to the photos that is not filtered Thank you for watching guys.